With our data imported, let's verify that the import was complete and what we expected. We can use the Mongo shell to easily view our data. The shell is a very powerful tool in the MongoDB toolbox and is used by anyone and everyone who works with MongoDB. Let's start discovering its power. The shell provides us insight into our MongoDB database. We can query data, pull the Mongo server about its overall health, configure the instance, tweak it, and almost anything else we need to do with the MongoDB instance can be done through the shell. Let's get a shell working and see what it can do. We need to open a new terminal and change to our events directory. And to enter into the shell, simply type Mongo. And it says Mongo shell version 2.6.11 connecting to test. That's good. We want to tell it to use our event app database, however. So say use event app. And it says switched to DB event app. So we're looking at the right database now. And one very, very convenient command is simply the word help. And that lists a number of commands that we can use in the Mongo shell. A great command there. Keep that one in mind. If we want to know the databases that we do have set up, we can use show DBs, DBS. And we can see we've got an admin database, an event app database, and a local database. Admin and local are ones that we don't use ourselves. We are concerned with the event app database. So let's go back. Now within our event app database, we can take a look at the collections that exist by using the command show collections. And that lists our collections, the events collection that we created, and then there's a system.indices collection that the database created and uses to store indices. We don't touch that one ourselves. But what do we have in our events collection? Well, we can use DB events find to see the records that exist in that collection. So let's give that a try. And that shows the four records that we imported. And we can see that each of them have an ID, an object ID, a name, a description, a date, a time, a location, and so on. What if we want to find just a particular record? We can use the same command with a filter that will give us just a single record. Let's take a look. So DB events find. And we want to find the record with a name value of event one. We can put name event one and hit enter. And we get our single record back. And it is the record with name event one. And our screen's getting a little busy, so we can use CLS to clear the screen. Let's take a look at all of our records again. DB events find shows us all of our records. If we look closely at the structure of the records that we do have, we can see that the structure of our records includes an embedded entity. If we look here, a start new entity, and here, an end entity, that means that one of the elements within our JSON formatted record is an embedded entity. So if we want to query for one of the items within the embedded entity, like say for instance, we want to query on street address because that's inside the entity, we can use dot notation in our query. So we'll bring up DB events find again, and then we'll look at using dot notation. Let's say location dot street address. And let's find the record that is 303 Main Street. And using that syntax, we should be able to query on the record and actually use the filter that's based on a nested entity within the JSON element. And I've got a syntax error in there. I can see it now. I forgot to put that in there. Let's try again. Okay, it brings back our single record and it found street address 
303 Main Street. That's how we query with a filter using dot notation for nested entities within our JSON records. So what if we want to sort this data in a particular way? Well, we can use the db events find command like that, and we add a sort command. And we want to sort this, say, on the field capacity. Let's do that. Descending. And we use a negative one argument for descending, a positive one for ascending. The correct syntax. Okay, so we will sort on capacity descending. Let's see what happens. Okay, capacity is here. 400, 300, 200, 100. Very good. So that's how we sort in our queries. And these are some of the most common Mongo shell commands, ones that are used all the time when developing MongoDB applications. These are commands that we'll be using quite a bit as well as we move throughout the course.